I can never get over this place. Twenty years ago, it was just a damp, murky void in the middle of nowhere. Now people queue up to get dangled across it in a steel box. And here it comes. Most of the people here will be heading straight to Bowerstone. But we're going to take a little heat first. I just to something wrong. survivors. Looks like the only way. All right. I can do this. Let's get down. I don't want to spend any more time in this box than I have to. It fell somewhere up ahead. Come on. So where are we going? To find some old friends. Let's just...
Keep hacking away at them or we can get out of here. Right in its ugly mug. Tried to bring them all down. Thank you for making such a lovely time. From a distance is a good idea. That way you don't get the smell. That's the last of them.
behind it somehow. Cave like this, there has to be some other way of getting there. Think you're so smart, standing behind your fancy magic, don't you? Yes, that's right, I'm talking to you! the right way round. Try explaining that. Now this, this I wasn't expecting. Must have been a whole city down here once. You don't think the hops built it, do you? <laughs> Not with those stubby fingers. There must be a way out through here anyway. Have you noticed how quiet it all is here? Almost like... Yep. Almost like that was going to happen. You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown, and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land.
don't think you're going to find a way round this time. But I've got some magic of my own. Watch and learn. Ah, you can almost smell the sunlight. Isn't it wonderful? The damp, muggy, soggy sunlight. This is Morningwood, all right. I hope the people we're looking for are still alive. Why wouldn't they be? Because, come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Albion. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash, bloody swamp. We made a good team back in that cave, didn't we? It's been a while since I got stuck into a real fight. It was just like fighting by your father's side. I'd forgotten what it was like, standing next to a hero. I think we're almost there. That must be the place up ahead. What I wouldn't give for a bowl of soup and a hot bath.
Hello, I've just learned yet another remarkable tidbit from the Book of Heroes. It seems that you have the power to upgrade not only your living weapons, but also any weapon you find. Come back to the Sanctuary, and I can show you how. Examine your new weapon to learn what you must do in order to improve it. But whatever it is, please don't do it in here. I've just tidied up. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to channel magical energies to cast spells. Quite extraordinary. you have impeccable taste in gauntlets. Rifles are slower to fire than pistols, but can be used to engage targets at much greater range. Fast and sharp, I believe those two adjectives are the most apt for encapsulating swords. New items provide a welcome change, I find. You might have a look in the Sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. Cease your movement! Be you men or be you hollow men? Have you gone daft, boy? Open up the doors. Walter? Is that you? The very same. Now, are you going to let us in or what? Right. Yes, of course. Open the gate! Tell Major Swift, Walter's here! Welcome, Sir Walter. Sir. There he is. One and only, Major Swift. Oh, oh, Walter! What the blazes are you doing here? We came looking for you. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition us. And I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the damned. Ben Finn, it's good to see you. I take it the legends about this place are true, then? I'll say. You've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationary here for weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... Uh... The Prince, yes. I'll explain. Just treat him like any other pair of hands for now. Fair enough. 
Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fort. You'll probably be stuck by that mortar all night. Well, take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. Finally left the old castle behind, huh? Long time coming, Major. Long time coming. I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before? There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. It's true what they say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. 724 wounds and still standing. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jammy. It's time to show him the ropes. Yes, sir. Right, then. My life's gonna be in your hands, so let's make sure you you know what you're doing, okay? Go on, grab the mortar, and we'll do some practice shots. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it up. Yeah, that's right. Let's blow it to bugger it. Come on! Yes! Yes! Boom! Push! <laughs> Oh, goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. That was bloody brilliant. All right, Jammy, don't get too excited. You know what happens when you do. Let's just take care of the last one. Just one left. Thank God. I don't remember setting this one up. Well, 
Lord. They're at the rear gate! Take positions! All guns on the gate. We can't let them through. Remain buried! Oh, doesn't anyone follow orders anymore? <laughs>
was pretty damn impressive. So, your father wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it! No, really! We did! Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won. The end. Well, Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you for a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside and he's... New soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. I promise. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs. Then it's settled. We're heading back to Bowerstone now. There are some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and all that. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're gonna need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friends. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. If you feel like exploring, go ahead. I'll meet you at the sewers to Bowerstone. You can't miss them.
It was just awful what happened to that monorail. All those people... Get your tattoos from me! Won't hurt a bit! Woohoo! We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. You can see for yourself what life outside the castle is like. Poverty, hunger, disease. Wouldn't you want to rebel against it all? You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. I wonder what's going on up there. Let's see, shall we? My happiness. So how about you give me some? Reaver is exploiting us! We deserve fair pay! We demand better working conditions! We're workers! We're not slaves! Reaver treats us like animals! not going to take it anymore. There's only one thing for it. We have to stand up to Reaver. But lying down is so much easier than standing up. My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be cut. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. We return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on, shoo! Be off with you! Chop, chop! That's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reaver. We should go on. It's time you met the Bowerstone Resistance.
This is a way for anything anyone can give. Right, this should be the place. Somewhere beyond this door is the base of the Ballastone Resistance. Ready when you are. I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days. No, really, I should warn you. I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. I know that... Got the wrong place. Let's uh, you know, get out. Don't move. We won't move if you won't shoot. Deal? You'd better tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is. That really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot. Listen, we're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down. I thought I gave the orders round here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Got to be carried away. Walter, glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. I had this whole plan, you see, but I, well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Page, I'd like you to meet. I know who he is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the prince here. He's not just a prince. He's a hero. Great. Give him a medal. No, I mean he's a hero. Like his father. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know he's any better? Let him prove it. It's not just me he needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Prove to them that they should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Today you have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause. And just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler. It would seem your heroism must be put to the test once again, sir. May I suggest that you return to the sanctuary and inspect the map? 
there appear to be numerous opportunities available. I can't see a way to proceed without first gathering more followers, and I believe there are quests available. Hey, keep on like you're doing and you could stand for mayor. You're that popular around here. Why not inquire about the blacksmith job? Have a look around. Cheers. Hope to see you again. You look really stylish in those clothes. Hey, where'd you get those shoes? Oh, if you find we're bad. out of stock on anything, try again a few days later. Too shabby. If I can be of any help, let me know. Do you do home deliveries? <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double-checked every bit of it. We just need someone to be the hero. But will that orb thing really work? Well, it's work with everything else. Hobbs, rabbits, wolves. Well, better work. I got all dressed up for this. I don't believe it. You're a hero. I mean, you're a real hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces. And this is Kaliv. Lord of the Fairies, and lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number. Oh, for goodness sake, Mark. My mum wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you aid her? She is completely hot, by the way. The 
hero wakes, long had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it! Just time. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves. Excellent. The hero's going to talk to Arturo. Now we can get things. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What? That's it? No clues to solve or anything? Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Now you're talking. slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge, and far more exciting than rabbits. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the princess and the baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil baron! <laughs> I am the evil baron. And the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will... Well, they'll do evil stuff. For they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. Wait. He can't go through there until he's opened the chest. What? Why? The hero's got to open the chest to beat the Baron. Oh, that's sloppy design, Jim. You shouldn't make anything like that essential. It's optional whether or not you open a chest. The wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Okay, 
who set up the lever. I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> Killer monsters are chickens. A chicken. Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute, but also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben! You. <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. Emerged into the light to find the evil Baron at bay. Help me, hero. You're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> Sorry 
You're going to kill them all, aren't you? This cannot be! These hobs are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. No match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. <laughs> this rate, the hops will surely kill you. Surely you can't defeat my elite now! These hobbits are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now stood between him and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But no! that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword. That is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. The sword! The bane sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> What kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. But only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death shrieks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after, and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Great work, my friend. You are fantastic! You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons! Well, that went well, don't you think? Uh-huh. Good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? The orb of interplanar transference. I think that Hero kept it. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artifact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. My grandfather used to tell me so. Thank you.
Let's see your skills then. Yikes! It's bloody sick! Fight you there, why don't you? Magic's the cheater! Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Griffith Smith, and I'm the president of the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Before you once stood a bridge to the site of the old gypsy camp where our late monarch was raised many years ago. Alas, the bridge has fallen into disrepair, and this historical site of interest will soon be forgotten. Perhaps I can persuade you to make a donation to keep this place of such historical significance alive. Another victory for the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Come back later on once the bridge has been built. a delivery job. I've got a letter that simply must reach Brightwall as soon as possible. I cannot stress how imperative it is that this vital communication... Excellent! <laughs> Well, you ain't got much, but I guess I'll take it.
I've added your promise to Swift to the wall. Let me buy your unwanted items. Fair price paid. Here you are then. The finest Best wares in Albion. You'd be mad to go Want in. Want some healthy drinks? Wow, a letter for me. I wonder what it says. <clears throat> Dear Zachary, you are an ugly, incompetent buffoon, and nobody likes you. Yours sincerely, Arthur. Oh, how rude! Open the door, I'm begging you. Can't wait to see it. Always look out the for sales. You never know when I'll Now we're talking really fast. My fire magic and I love your technique. If your fire were out of stock on anything, try again a few days later. You handle that dough like an artist. We have the finest product in Albion. You handle that dough like an artist. Lovely work. Pipes. They're looking for a barge, you know. That's some tasty work. A nice big bag of salty peanuts. Can't be eaten. Great pie. Oh, it's you! Lovely work! For the love of all, you old sacred! That's one hell of a pie! I like you so much, I just had to get you a present! Lovely work! I like you so much, I just had to get you a present. That's one hell of a pie. That's 
just one hell of a pie. Ooh, that crust is divine. Establishment in Brightwall. Take this little gift. I might keep that one for myself. I sell the best stuff in Brightwall. We shall avenge them. I have destroyed the mayor of Brightwall. And what can I do for you? Place, Hello. But with fair All right, thank you. Bowistone has loads of dark See you again soon. Welcome to... the sanctuary. Quite keen on Skull. So you never do anything. Oh, come on, dear. Please let me in. It's getting cold out here. So, which one is Jim? You won't find anything better in all of Brightwall than the stuff I'm selling right here! You won't find nicer food anywhere! There are things I've, I've never Good looking, my here. furry friend. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, the one that convinced us to keep the chickens. Thank you for what you did. Though I will say it was a strain on our marriage for a little. That it was. I didn't want to let the birds out. And she said chickens weren't meant to be cooped up. Of course, I said the definition of coop is a place you keep chickens. Finally, we came up with a compromise that worked for both of us and, more importantly, made the chickens happy. We don't let them run free, but we let them do the next best thing. Run races. First of its kind. Though I expect it'll catch on. <laughs> Gives the chickens an outlet for their aggression and allows us to maintain security and control. Would you like to bet on the next race? It's very simple. A spate to Horace by the track. All profits go to... Well, <laughs> mostly they go to buying more feed. They're voracious eaters. Imposing and dignified. The Colonel is the gentleman of the course. If there were a door on the track, he would open it for the ladies. And if he wore a garment with sleeves, he would not... Mr. Cluckles comes from a long line of chickens who, with their natural combination... Mostly slow Joe's name is deceptive. Two wings, Timmy's secret weapons are his... Two wings. The advantage they give him over other chickens accounts for his performance... This enigmatic bird is also known as he who kicks people, corn's worst nightmare, and the hero chaser. The feathered avenger has many names, but only one speed, fast. And they're off! Well done, Mr. Cluckles, taking the lead effortlessly. The Colonel is dead last, oh dear. Joe moves into first. He's not slow right now. Legal disclaimer I'm required to read. Here at Foul Downs, we do not discriminate on the basis of age, race. And it's Avenger. Avenger takes home the gold, metaphorically. We don't need to lose them. But I 
objectives than taking my back who wasn't even running. That Oris is an odd sort. And I caught him chatting up my wife. But he is the best cut caster in Appian. Hello. I've got an IT circle. Add some character. This is getting silly. I know you're in there. Open up. Please, my sweet, please. I'm so sorry. I I I'll make it up to you. Well, I've heard that before. And the first few times you disappointed me. Your clumsiness was sort of adorable in its way, but it's got a bit tired, hasn't it? My darling, please don't. I'm sorry. Please, let's not argue. It's so awful. Awfully boring, you mean? Perhaps if you ever won, it would be more interesting. Hmm? When I married my wife, she was all sweetness and smiles. And now she's all bitterness and bile. She bullies me. She berates me. It's horrible. She's horrible. But if I divorced her, she'd get half my fortune, which is quite a bit of money. Oh, I wish I was someone else. Wait. What if she was with someone else? If a fellow like you were to approach her, woo her, tell her you've got more money than I do, she'd divorce me to marry you, and I'd be free and clear. Of course, you wouldn't actually have to marry her. Once she's divorced me, you could just walk away. Oh, I'd love to see the look on her face then. I know it sounds repugnant, but this could be my only way out. Will you do it? You'll do it? Oh, this is the first good thing that's happened to me in years. She's inside. You can start there. I'll go to the pub. Get out of your way. It shouldn't be too... What is it now? Don't tell me you want to talk about things. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought you were my husband. <laughs> Don't know how I could have confused someone like you for someone like him. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> One, two, three! Fantastic! Oh, Lovely. Oh, 
<laughs> <Work done>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are good. Yes. <laughs> well, handsome. You're quite a bit of fun, aren't you? Much more diverting than that husband of mine. Do you know, he spends all his time reading or gardening. <laughs> so dull. I can't remember the last time he did something nice for me, like buy me jewelry. I adore jewelry, by the way. Ever thought of joining the army? There must be a clothes shop round here, right? Don't think of it as ending a marriage. Think of it as helping me start a new life. All you have to do is make her a better offer. If she thinks she can get more out of you than she can out of me, well, job done. to my seat. Well done. Excellent choice. I sell bright walls best. All your favourites on sale! Have a look at what I've got! You have not seen anything like it! Thank you. I love it. <laughs> You're brilliant, darling. Big slaps. Yes. <laughs> and round we go. <laughs> Come on. Hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> Ready? Yeah! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you're very good. Oh, you're a saucy one, aren't you? I like it. So, what's your pleasure? It's been lovely spending time with you. And it was exciting at first, flirting <laughs> in my husband's house. But aren't you bored? Hmm? We should go somewhere nice. How about Brightwall Bridge? Bit clingy, aren't you? All right then, if you must. Seeing my hand in yours, I can't help feeling it would look better with a few more rings on it. Diamond rings, preferably. I love the view here. And you don't ruin it with a lot of talk. You just oh, stand there and look handsome. Mm. Ah. Oh. Hello. Wow. <laughs> You've done that before, I should think. That, or you have amazing instincts. I have to tell you. I've been with William so long, I forgot how incredible it can feel to be with someone exciting. I want more. What do you say? We make a go of this. I'll leave William, and you and I can be together. We'll need somewhere to live. Not having a roof over my head is maybe a bit too exciting. Whatever happened to that married couple in Brightfall? Do they still need help with their relationship? Home is where the heart is, as they say. It should also be where you have your best furnishings. Now, have you given any thought to redecorating? You've got a ring. You've got a house. You're going to be very hard to resist, aren't you? Go ahead and ask, and let's see how strong my resistance is. Will you marry me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <gasps> now 
I just have to divorce William? Oh, I wish I'd met you five years ago. Would have spared myself a lot of crushing boredom. I've got news for you, William. You're not going to like it, and let me tell you, that breaks my heart. Truly. I've decided we're not right for each other. More specifically, you're not right for me. So, here are the divorce papers. You may consider yourself an ex-husband. Veronica, I don't know what to say other than thank you. Thank you for doing just what I knew you would. What? You planned this all along? Sorry to say. I'll file these with the city clerk first thing tomorrow morning, and then we are officially history. Thanks again. Well, my enterprising love, aren't you a piece of work? You make a deal with a husband to split up his marriage and leave his wife penniless? Rather underhanded, I would say. I... Wonder just how despicable are you willing to be? Because if I think this through logically, if he never makes it to that office, the divorce never happens, and then instead of marrying a hot blooded divorcee, you'd be landing yourself a very wealthy widow. What? You can't mean you'd kill me? Well, technically, he'd kill you. I'm sorry, William, but it is a lot of money. You haven't left me much of a choice. Don't listen to her. You can just walk away. This doesn't concern you anymore. No! Don't go! Tart. You're not really going to divorce your true love, are you? You're unbelievable. You just tried to have me killed, and now you're trying to worm your way back into my heart. I was confused. This whole awful affair has reminded me how much I really love you. Let's just tear up those papers and start again. And as long as we're tearing, maybe we should have at these clothes as well. Oh, well... No. Wait a minute. I'm not falling for that. It's over. Get out of my house. Oh, all right, fine. You're a disappointment, William. I wanted to make it work, but if you don't want to try, I'll leave. And I'm taking my jewelry with me. Fine. And good riddance.
Welcome to the sanctuary. A little something new has appeared in the sanctuary shop. Care to have a look? Any other business to attend to?